Hi everybody, I want to introduce you my Mark 7 GTI. So, what we got? I have built this car for one purpose to be the fastest in my city. So, when I drive this car, it gives to me huge pleasure. The feeling can be expressed by words. At first, you must drive it. It's like rocket on the wheels. Yeah. So. Let's step into the modifications I have done to this car. For the first thing I would mention these Avesum wheels. These are OZ Ultra Legera. They are very lightweight, about 8 kilograms per wheel. So this car has Firestone. Indy 500 semi slick tire on it, which has a good traction, by the way. Uh, what about the suspension? Yeah, on the suspension, I have the BC coilover kit. Uh, you might notice it there. BC. So, they are the one of the leading company who produce quality coilovers and recommend you guys to upgrade if you don't have if you don't have still the aftermarket coilover kit. So next what we got uh, here we have WeatherTech deflectors as you can see here you can see the part number and uh, these low-profile window deflectors help to reduce wind noise and allow to heat to escape. So it's really worth upgrading. They cost about hundred dollars on the original site, as I remember. The back of my vehicle. Let's focus a little bit. So I think my car looks pretty nice. Don't you agree guys? So yeah. The next the next next thing I have done to this car is the VW emblem. I have I have modified it to black and white tone, so I think they look pretty nice. And what about the exhaust? I have the stock. I have the stock cat back exhaust on it with blue burn tips. You can see here they fit the rear view of this vehicle very well. On the window, you can see the BMP sticker. So, it means that I have uh, I ordered brisk racing plugs from BMP Tuning Company. And would you guys recommend to upgrade um, the plugs, your stock plugs, to brisk racing if you have? Uh, for instance, the car like me, the car like 400 HP. Because see, these plugs are made for high horsepower cars. So, necessary upgrade it. I'll recommend strongly. So, yeah, the next thing. The next thing. Let's open the hood. So open the hood and let's look under the and under the hood. What do we have? Let's do some focus. And open the window. What we have here? So here, let's see 
what we have here I think that my engine bay it looks pretty nice recently I have added some performance parts and which I will tell you in this video so <clears throat> what we have here I will begin from this air scupio which I did install recently and I did it myself it delivers more air to your intake system so here I have the APR as you can see here I have the APR carbonio intake with this ECS tuning silicon pipe or oh, with these parts your turbine is breathing fresh air from the outside and it makes your turbine to, 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 to spool faster so the first thing when you are doing or uh, when you tune your car the first thing is to upgrade your intake systems so what goes in must come out of course must come out from this apier kated down pipe you can see here the apier cast inlet raised down pipe exhaust system replaces a restrictive factory down pipe with a larger stainless steel manual band system and by the way i have also uh, here you can see you can see here the CTS inlet pipe I mentioned earlier and on the down I have the APR turbo muffler delete it sits right on there uh, what's about cooling system yeah I forgot to mention here you can see here I have CTS front mount intercooler it has increased curl volume and the intercool placement has resulted in significant cooling improvements yeah, including reduced heat soak and reduced charge air temperatures I ran five times and there was no heat soak at all so I think it really is worth upgrading and it has aggressive look from the outside also yeah you can see so what for, for transmission for tr transmission I would say that I have installed the DXD daily stage 3 clutch kit on it so it really holds the amount of power this car produces and by the way very strongly and of course in order to keep tires in contact with the asphalt I installed wave track limited slip differential which replaces the stock differential and is specially designed to automatically improve grip in low traction conditions yeah oh uh, what's what's next here <coughs> here you can see these black wires how do you think where they come from of course they come from here this is JB4 module which I have stacked next to the mm, to my car and it sits next to the battery you can see here so for doing locks I stacked the JB4 soon I think we'll install mass injection so yeah it will be controlled by the JB4 for now JB does nothing it's only for lock purposes yeah and of course I forgot to mention the important this car is tuned this car is tuned let me get you into it this car is tuned of course by APR the leading company yeah baby it's APR so this it has tuned by APR there is ES38 tune on 93 octane fuel so here you can see the giant turbine ES38 baby yeah it delivers a real 
real power real power to your car so you know kind of i feel fast response coupled with smooth daily driving and much broader power band that pulls all the way to red line i think that apr is the best tuning company among our dvw and i would recommend you to tune your VW Audi with the APR because they deliver quality, reliability and best performance to your vehicle. So I have almost told you everything about my cars mods. Soon I think I will die of this car and will post another video of it. So that's all for today. See you soon next time. Stay tuned, be safe on the roads and good luck guys. I will do close the hood and we'll do the fast walk round of my car again. And share, share your impressions about my car's exterior look, how does it look? What shall I add for the future? And all stuff like this. For my, my opinion, 